Beautiful Aquarius, this is Tammy from Spot On Psychic Readings. Welcome to your reading for September. So I want to pull these by feel today for you all and we'll see what we get. Let's dive into your reading, okay? I like to do it this way um, so I can feel the energy, you know, your energy of the cards before I actually read what's on the cards. It gives me some additional feel for you. Aquarius, Aquarius, September. There's going to be writing on the wall. I'm seeing that with this card. What is this card? Ah, the judge, the justice card. Okay, so things are going to balance out Aquarius. Um, this can also have to do with Libra energy for you. Uh, maybe some of your Libra rising or something like that, but here's um, justice card. Okay, and they're saying to me, the writing's on the wall. <laughs> so there's going to be some kind of a clear message um, for you, Aquarius. So let's see what else. Some cards just have so much energy, I have to just flip them over right away. And that one did. <laughs> Doing some manifesting there, Aquarius. Let's see what else. When I pull cards like this, some of them feel very magnetic, like that one. Um, some will feel hot or cold or all sorts of things. Okay, <clears throat> let's flip these over and see what we've got. Went with justice. Is that one? Um, please watch to the end to avoid any misunderstanding because after I read this spread then I'm gonna get deeper into your reading and pull some more cards for clarification okay so some of you may have been worried here's the nine of swords some of you might have been worrying about something okay um, maybe something might have been keeping you um, awake at night and it looks like based on all of these cards there have been some pretty major life changes that have gone on for you so coming up in September, you're not going to be worrying anymore, okay? <laughs> I just want to tell you that because September looks altogether different, you know, when I go on over here to the future part. There's something here, like I said earlier, <clears throat> something's really balancing out for you. And it's going to be really clear to you what it is because the writing's on the wall is what I'm hearing for some reason. It's really important. There's balance scales here. There's something that's going to you know, even back out. I feel like the balance scales have been off somehow for you potentially this summer. <clears throat> this is clearing up, okay? There's something here about um, a Queen of Pentacles energy, um, Aquarius, and this could represent you or your person. This comes across to me as a feminine figure because it is a Queen of Pentacles and I read it as it, you know, as the cards as they come up. Switch this if, if you need to. For your situation but this energy is very um <clears throat> like balanced with money okay this energy is very uh, financially um, stable and really dependable you know this queen tends to be very nurturing and very decisive about things and very organized okay so Let's see, where do we want to go next? Now, I feel like there's been some sort of a narcissistic energy around you, Aquarius. This is the Page of Cups reversed. This is really often a narcissistic energy. And somebody who's kind of immature, this could have involved um, children in the picture. Not that the children are narcissists, I'm, two different things is what to make that clear, okay? So this could involve immature people or a narcissist or both or children, okay? So I feel like there may have been some legal kind of thing that has now balanced out regarding children or regarding a narcissist or both in your situation. But something's really on the upswing here with this. This is like a really big deal in this reading because this card's got so much energy. Now, 
you all have been manifesting, <laughs> you have been visualizing, you've been bringing in what you want, and I feel like you need to take a rest. Here's 10 of uh, wands. I feel like you may have been working too hard or pushing yourself too hard, really trying to um, make this happen, okay? But take a break, Aquarius, because I feel like you're maybe wearing yourself out. You may be having problems with your back, um, headaches, things like that. Because too much stress and too much work can definitely um, bring on, you know, the back issues that come along with feeling like you're carrying a heavy burden, okay? But again, it's going to balance out. There's somebody in your near future, or either this represents you in your near future, that is the Empress energy, Aquarius. Now, the Empress gives birth to things. The Empress either gives birth to um, new businesses or babies, okay? It can be a lot of different things that someone is nurturing and bringing forth. The Empress is a very creative energy, okay? Um, this energy really likes to um, nurture things, you know, nurture projects, nurture children, um, often a mother figure, okay? This could be your mother um, that you're going to be seeing or dealing with in the near future in September, or this could be um, someone in your life, or this could be you, Aquarius. Take it as it resonates, okay? Now, there's a major kind of life change that I feel like um, has come up or will come up for you in September, and it's right alongside the world card. Now, this major life change came up upside down, so it may be a little bit of a difficult decision or something like that that comes up, but it resolves things. And, you know, I love this world card. The world card definitely has a lot to do with um, a spiritual graduation, you know, and this is really showing your energy, Aquarius, this world energy, very much um, like representing Aquarius in September. This is things um, like loose ends getting tied up. This is about um, things being resolved and um, like going to the next level, going to a higher level, meaning, you know, spiritual level or even a level in your job. Um, this is like a super good success card. Okay. And also a really good spiritual card. And it comes right on the heels of some sort of difficult choice or decision or something like that shown in this judgment reversed card. Okay. So I'll get some more details on that because that's really calling my attention. Um, Aquarius, you may have just pulled back into your own energy. You may be feeling a little bit like a hermit at this time in September. And this is you getting in touch with just your own inner wisdom. I feel like you're not needing a lot of people around you. You're not seeking out a relationship necessarily. You're not seeking out a lot of anything. You're kind of in your own energy. Okay. This is, um, this is you at this time. It's like, I just want to like be by myself, <laughs> just gonna, you know, um, do my thing, grow my flowers, you know, plant, plant some flowers, whatever, just like in his home space, just doing his thing. Okay. And that may very well represent you in September Aquarius. So let's get some more details. Let's dig deeper. So hang in there with me. This is where it gets fun. <laughs> okay. What else for Aquarius in September? Oh, here we go with Ten of Wands again. Second time it came up. So lay down your heavy burdens, okay? It's saying you're working too hard. Um, you're being successful, but you may just be working too hard, okay? You may be feeling burnt out, trying to push so hard all the time. Yeah, so, yeah, there's some discontent with that because you have been working too hard. Here's Four of Cups, so that definitely goes to uh, that feeling of, boy, am I worn out. <laughs> I really need a nap kind of energy. Somebody in this picture, Aquarius, is a King of Swords. Now, King of Swords is usually all logic and not very much heart energy. This is planning ahead and things like that. A lot of intellectual energy, um, air signs, things like that. Right next to the strength card. So there could be a Leo energy 
um, there. Also, this is somebody using their physical strength a lot. Um, I feel like this is either you or somebody you're dealing with using their intellect and their physical strength, their inner strength um, to get what they want, okay? Which is great, except there's, there's not heart energy. You know, there's not that nurturing heart energy connected with that. And it's usually a good thing to put that in there, okay? Um, here is the Ace of Wands. So there's some kind of a new beginning. New beginning having to do with passion and fiery energy and new projects, new jobs, things like that. Getting what you want right next to the Ace of Pentacles. Okay, so here's where this is headed. Let me show you, see if I can show you all these. So we've got the intellectual king of swords who's not very emotionally in tune at this time whoever he is okay again take it as it resonates um i just read the cards as they come up right next to strength okay and strength is having to do with your own um physical strength maybe you're working out maybe this is just you having such a resolve to you know manifest what you want that's why you've worked so hard you're you know showing the ten of wands and right next to that, you've got two New Beginnings cards, two Ace cards here, okay? For Pentacles and Wands, having to do with money and energy, new energy and things like that. So again, all of this is coming together. All of this here is coming together for you in September. Ace of Pentacles can be a big windfall of money, you know? And it can come from you thinking your way through it um, being very logical and very, um, like cutting out things that don't work for you and really focusing ahead on what does work for you. And also this hermit card of using your own knowledge, your own inner wisdom and kind of staying to yourself. You know, I feel like you're keeping these ideas to yourself. You're not sharing them. You're just keeping your eye on the prize. Okay. So yeah. And look at this, you're moving ahead. So this is six of swords. Some of you are coming out of a difficult situation. It could have been with this narcissistic energy, legal stuff that I saw earlier, but you're moving ahead. All right. That's what this shows me moving ahead and you're leaving the difficulty behind. You're coming into a much more um, peaceful, tranquil kind of time frame. Okay. <clears throat> Here's the Empress again. This is twice the Empress has come up. So Aquarius, this is definitely representing you, like bringing forth something, like um, you're breathing life into something really important to you, okay? And I would say this is where uh, these two aces are coming in. Look at this, two Empress, two aces. That's no coincidence, <laughs> okay? So you are definitely, um, you know, bringing something to life here. And it's going to bring in money and it's going to bring in energy and it's making it's coming from your own inner strength a lot of it's coming from you being smart and being strong okay commitment things like that your ten of swords is in the past that's gonna be behind you that ten of swords oh and this is what okay this goes together. So the Six of Swords, Ten of Swords. So you already went through this Ten of Swords energy and you're moving away from it. That's why it's shown up in the past. So you're moving away from Ten of Swords and into this more tranquil time period. Yeah, and you have a lot of inner strength to keep going. This is the Nine of Wands and this is saying, keep going Aquarius, keep going. You know, you can reach that next goal. Okay, don't give up too soon. You've got strength and reserve. That's what that has to do with. This is five of pentacles, but it's reversed. So some of you may have gone through a difficult money spot, but you're coming out of it. So five of pentacles reversed is financial stability, and it's having to do with financial um, issues or, you know, if money was a little tight or something, that's going into the past in September. So it's improving in other words, okay? Let me get a few last words here for Aquarius and some details. So hang in there, we'll get the final details here. Okay, there's two coming up here. So here's the Peacock 
card that came up first, Aquarius, okay? And I feel like this is almost a totem for some of you. Seems significant. And this is um, about great pride and also about um, um, doing things where people look, you know? And it's like uh, doing things to catch attention, to capture attention. And I don't mean that in any sort of a negative way. I mean that in maybe you're in sales or maybe you're in some kind of a um, career that involves, you know, getting the attention in order to make the money and move things forward. So I feel like the peacock is a very good kind of sign um, for a lot of you. Yeah, okay, this is the boat card right next to it. Now, these cards always come up um, kind of expanding on one another. So this is getting attention and then money or property through inheritance, winning, or windfall. Okay, so <laughs> you had the windfall cards right here. You had these two aces come up. So this is definitely validating that for you, Aquarius. <laughs> Let's see what else. Final words for Aquarius today. Um, there might be disappointment in a friend or a lover for some of you. This is the flute card, okay? Like some friend, friend <laughs> may be disappointing to some of you in some way. We'll see what else it says. Why is that? Successful outcome to your problems. Okay, let's see what else. Oh, in this, a fly, a period of ill health or depression. So there may be somebody who is um, depressed, for one thing. This friend or lover that came up that there's disappointment in, maybe because they're depressed. And maybe because they're going through a period of ill health, okay? But there is a successful outcome to your problems and you're getting some sort of a key. So whoever this is, there may be disappointment there. They may be letting you down on the job, for instance, or they may be letting you down just in life, you know? But I also feel like there's some key coming to you from this. So it says it's, it's a letdown, but that key is a really good thing. So I feel like something good comes, you know, something good comes out of this disappointment, okay, for some of you does feel to me that that's more connected with career in some way. It's connected with wealth for sure because the wealth card popped out there. Yeah, so I would say that's connected with career more than relationship for a lot of you. Most of you really. They want me to switch, to switch over. Final words for Aquarius. I haven't read for you all in a couple of weeks, so there's a lot here. <laughs> there was a lot for them to catch up on with you. That one wanted to come out. This is dog barking. This is um, advice from a friend. Let's see where that's going. Advice from a friend. Um, love, deep affection, and caring. So somebody who is a really good friend of yours, Aquarius, is going to be giving you some kind of advice. And this is somebody you can trust because there's something about um, love there, love and deep affection. So it's a friend who is sincere that I feel like you're going to get some advice from. Um, someone is going out of your life or the end of some kind of a situation. Okay, that's the casket card. Um, there's been unsuccessful plans. So this, I feel like this is having to do with a situation, not a person. All right. So there's a situation, um, an end of a situation in January. All right. So there's some... I know we're trying to look into September, but they're giving me January here. So they're jumping way ahead, I guess, to warn you ahead of time. So keep your eye on this. But there's some kind of a situation going out of your life or person. It can be, it says someone, someone going out of your life or the end of a situation. Okay. 
Um, there were unsuccessful plans and something's going to come up in January, according to this. Let me just, I was going to end on that, but I hate to leave you with that. Hold on. Let me get one more here. Okay. Anything else on that? Because there's a lot of success cards here, Aquarius. Yeah, here's the crown. Honor and respect will come to you. So they want to leave you with that. I wouldn't worry too much about this January thing. Um, and it's not for everybody. You know, it's a collective reading, so it won't be for everybody anyway. But there's wealth here. There's a new key. <laughs> there's, um, you know, honor and respect coming to you. There's more balance, which is the first thing that came up. Really important. Things are going to balance out. And this was a super good reading. I hope you enjoyed it. So um, hope to see you all again soon if you're still watching. And love you guys. And I'll see you. Bye.